Hey everyone, welcome back to Metakit. In this video, we are going to learn about panning and zooming inside Movi. This is a feature which is very essential and very important in video editing. This feature is used by many creators, many YouTubers, in films everywhere. So you must learn this. So we will begin after the intro. So we are inside Movi, as you can see. So this is the video which I imported inside Movi. As you can see, this is a very still video which was taken, I guess, on a tripod. This is a still video, very stable, but I would like to add some motion in it. To do so, I will go in tools, video editing, or you can also find it in tools, then panning and zooming. Then pick any. For this, I will pick left to right, but believe me, you can use any of those. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. It will create two key points in your video. Okay, one and two. So pick the frame of first one and then the second one. It will show you from which direction it will go. It will be cropped and it will be moved from that frame to the another one. Okay, so as you can see, it added motion into it. You see, it added motion into that video. It didn't have any motion. So this is what panning is. I will put a video over here showing what panning is. It is done with camera from moving one place to another, like you can see in the video. So as you increase the length between the first and the second keyframe, the speed of the animation or panning will change. If the two keyframes are close together, it will be fast. If it is apart, really apart, it will change. Now here is a key tip from me that if you have to cut the video afterwards, don't cut it afterwards, cut it beforehand. Because if you cut it afterwards, the effect will still be there. Okay. So as you can see, the effect was still in there. So to prevent it from that, cut it beforehand, as you can see and then add the effect. In this way, there will be no effect added to the clip which we have cut. So if you have to put the effect in the clip, you can cut it. But if you don't have to put any effect, do it as I suggested. Okay. So this is the plane, still no motion and then we added motion like this without altering the first one. So as I told you earlier, you can make any zooming like going from top to bottom, right to it doesn't matter which one you pick because you can make all that from any of those. For example, here I have picked left to right. Okay. So we, I will take it and move it upwards. So it becomes a bottom to top pan as you can see so it really doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you make it the frame the frame matters here so the first one the frame you pick second how long the length between the first and the second clip is okay for here i will pick any as i told you and make you have to visualize how the frame is and it is really simple here you can see You see the box here, the box is going to show afterwards. It will go from box one to box B. In simple words, I can explain to you in these terms. Okay. If you are a beginner, it's okay to pick accordingly, like bottom to top, top to bottom, bottom, but it really doesn't matter which one you pick because you can change it according to you. Okay. And here is a simple edit I make for you. I hope you will enjoy it. And until then, goodbye, take care. Thank you.
get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life 